Okay, well I just finished wiring in the uh, R1 regulator rectifier, so this is a, the MOSFET. Uh, it's the uh, FH012AA, which is the upgrade from the original non-MOSFET, the diode style. This is actually off of a Kawasaki. Uh, you can see my wiring is a little bit rough looking, but it's sealed airtight, and uh, I will get some connectors for that later. So I've got the voltmeter plugged in to the chassis and to the positive on the, rel the starter relay. I went ahead and replaced all the wiring down to the stator with 10 gauge wire, the three wires, and then also the wires that go to the battery with 10 gauge wire. So I've upgraded my charging system. I also have the regulator rectifier, the negative going straight to the battery. Positive is also going straight to the battery. Has a fuse, 10, a 30 amp fuse going to the regulator rectifier. Then the from the battery, the power supply to the relay is separate. So nothing is going directly from the relay except when it start starts. So that is, that upgrades the charging system. It has a brand new battery because the old one uh, was fried when I tested it. So I'm changed to everything. Regulator rectifier, battery, and relay. I also went ahead, you can barely see it, but I cut the wires and I spliced in the 10 gauge wire to the stator as low as I possibly could. So let's see where the volts are at idle. Give it a start. Okay, that's at idle. Before it was about 13.5, so it's gone up a bit. Let's try 5,000 RPM. That's pretty consistent. I like it. And this has no heat to it. All right, there you go.